Hey folks, it's Pat here. I got a chapter 12 question uh, that I want to cover here real quick, and that's ANOVA mean squares and the common population variance. This is the question where a lot of people start getting jammed up on, and if you get some of the later ones where you have to fill out the ANOVA table, um, and you haven't done this one, that it, it makes that one really difficult because you're not quite sure what you're looking at. But if you do this one first, it helps out a lot because this one is asking you to calculate the two values of uh, common, common population variance that you need to calculate in order to get the F statistic, okay? And so it's gonna ask you for this problem in two different ways. And so this is the first way, um, and I think this one's a little bit easier because it actually kind of points you in the right direction in each one. The other problem, which maybe we'll get one here in just a sec, is a little bit more confusing, but as long as you understand the terms, um, you can do both of them and you'll do both of them exactly the same way, all right? And so our first question in here is, well, you can read all this, blah, blah, whatever. But anyway, give an estimate of this common population variance by pooling the sample variances given. When you pool the sample variances like this, all right, in order to get an estimate of common population variance, what you're actually calculating here is something that we call mean square error or MSE, okay? So... And then the second one here, which is give an estimate of common population variance based upon the variance of the sample means given, that's asking you to calculate something called MST, which is mean square of treatments, okay? So this one here, pooling sample variances, it's mean square error, MSE. And this one here, uh, based upon the variance of the sample means given is MST. Write that down. <laughs> Okay, because it'll help you with the next problem. Now, the way that you can't calculate these is really easy. I always start with the one that says pooling the sample variance is given because that one's easier to do. When you pool the sample variances, all you're doing is taking the mean of these right here, which is your sample variance. And so let's go ahead and do that. So that's uh, 387.2 plus 463.5 plus 522.0 plus 341.0. Notice that I'm just gonna add all these together and then divide by how many there are, four, so I'm just taking the mean of these, bamzo. That's your answer, all right? And so whenever it says pooling, just average these out, okay? So 428 dot, and how many decimal places it wants? It wants one, so 428.4. Okay, so this right here, this is your MSE or your mean square error. Okay, now the next one, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to calculate the sample variance for these four means, okay? So, so common population based upon the variance of the sample means given. These are our sample means, so we have to calculate the variance of these. Then we have to multiply it by this, all right? How many are in there because it's weighted, okay? And so the way that we do that in the Alex calculator here is take each one of these, starting with 156.8, oops, type it in right, dot eight, and then hit comma, okay? Do the next one, 150.4, comma, take the next one, 150.2, comma, and then the last one, 153, all right? Don't hit enter, <laughs> all right? So because now we have this button right here, which is uh, sample standard deviation, which would have made life a lot easier in earlier Alex's problem, but here it is now. So just hit S, and that gives us our standard deviation, sample standard deviation amongst these means, okay? Now understand this is sample standard deviation. Okay, in order to find variance, all right, we need to square this because, of course, standard deviation is the square root of your variance. So just hit bam. Okay, this guy right here, and that's your sample variance between each one of these. Now you take that and you multiply. That's the step that most people screw up right there. You have to you have to square that after you hit this S button, all right, in order to get variance rather than use standard deviation. And so now we just take this and we multiply it by the sample size. And ta-da, there we go. So now notice you can only do this when you have equal samples, okay? So meaning that they each each one of the samples, like version A, B, and C, we had all the same sample size right here. Um, all these problems will do that for you, so don't worry about that. All right, problem down the road. <laughs> so there we go. So that gives us our estimate of the common population variance based upon the variance of the sample means given, also known as um, mean square treatment, or mean square error, my bad. <laughs>
Or no, that one is mean square treatment. Gee, I, I, I always have to check my notes on this one because I get those backwards. But there we go. So I got that one right. All right. So next one looks exactly the same. It's just actually going to talk about it in different terms. So it's actually going to say mean square error or mean square treatments. So you just follow the exact same procedure. All right. Just make sure you know what you're looking at. So mean square treatments, of course, remember the between groups mean square. Well, let's start with this first one. Mean square error, the within groups mean square, of course, we're going to calculate by averaging all of these out. So let's just do that here real quick. 33.3 plus 68.6 plus 75.3 plus 143.9 plus 84.8 gives us that and we have one two three four five in the sample so that one's going to be 81.18 okay and then treatments just like last time we're going to take the sample variance of each one of these okay and so let's punch all those in 65.4 comma 63.9 comma 60.7 comma 68.6 comma 61.4 and then hit this s button to get our standard deviation square that to get our variance oops i just screwed that up mm, let's see if i can salvage this here Ooh, control c bam okay cool <laughs> hit this button not this button <laughs> there we go all right that gives me my sample standard deviation or my my, my sample variance of the means and then of course just multiply that by each number of sample by the number in each sample so 214 214.1 there we go all right so yeah be careful what you do with that <laughs> okay so there you go all right so both different problems they're asking for the exact same thing they're just using different terms just write yourself out a little cheat sheet when it's asking for mean square error remember that's a weighted mean of variance okay and so that's when you're going to actually calculate all these and just take the mean of it that's mean square error and mean square treatment is we're going to take the sample standard or a sample variance of the sample means multiply it by how the sample size and that'll give you an estimate of that so again a little bit more of a um, um, a technical problem just based upon the, the 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 verbiage that they use but fundamentally you're doing the exact same thing and really if you get when you get to the next couple of problems where you have to calculate and fill in the ANOVA table this will make a lot more sense so just practice with it a little bit as always let me know if you have any questions and uh, good luck with this one so again a lot of people get jammed up on this one don't feel bad if you actually get one or two of them wrong just make sure that you're actually following the steps all right to calculate the mean square error or the mean square treatment correctly all right um, hope that helps we'll see you in the next video